Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kate. It's five o'clock right now. It feels so weird to be starting a vlog off in the evening because usually I'm always vlogging in the morning, but I'm actually heading to Boston right now. I got invited to get a facial at this place called Heyday in Seaport. But they invited me to get a complimentary facial, which can't say no to that. So that's where I'm headed. My appointment's at, it's not until 6.20 but it's 5 p.m. now. And just like with the traffic and everything and parking, I always like to be early to stuff because you never know when it comes to dealing with the city. So I figured I would bring you along with me. I'm very excited. I've only gotten one other facial before at j, &J in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which that was an amazing experience and it felt so nice. But that was back in, oh my gosh, that was all the way back in July. Now it's October, that's crazy, so. But I just took some micellar water and a cleaning pad. A cleaning pad, like a cotton pad. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and just kind of wiped my face down. That way it's nice and clean when I get there. But I'm like freezing right now. My hands are so cold. It's like, tis the season to being cold all the time because my hands are always cold, my feet are always cold, and I have on my big fleece, my free people fleece. And I'm putting my seat warmer on and my heat. I'm like so cold right now. So that's where I'm headed. I'm gonna put in the directions right now actually and see how long. It says 31 minutes. Starting route to heyday. I don't know, I just like to be very early to things. It says I'll get there at 5.30. There's actually this place that I like to park when I go to Seaport. So I might just park there and walk all the way down, although that might be a far walk. But it's fine because we have time. Just because I don't feel like looking forever to find a spot and I don't want to park in a garage. I hate paying for parking. I hate finding parking. Like this is why I don't live in the city. This is why I live like 20 minutes out of the city so I don't have to deal with the craziness of living in a city. But it's fun to go from time to time and like be close and you can like go whatever you want. So yeah, welcome back to another vlog. What day is today? It's Wednesday. So I guess we'll do like a little few days in my life, but just wanted to start off a new vlog, bring you guys with me. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Make sure you're subscribed. Let's go to Seaport. I don't know how I managed to just find a spot right now, but the place is like a few hundred feet right up there. And I turned on the street and found a parking spot like right as I turned, which is so lucky. So I guess that's good. I don't have to walk a long way to come here, but I'm just going to sit in my car and like go on TikTok or something because my appointment's not until 6.20 and it's 5.25 right now. So we're just going to chill in the car for a bit. Day. I'm just doing some ice rolling. It feels so nice this morning. I slept in until 7.30 today because Cheeto would not stop bugging me in the middle of the night. He's going on a diet because I took him to the vet on Monday and he weighs 16 pounds, which I did not think he was going to be 16 pounds. He doesn't even look that fat in my opinion. I mean, he definitely has a little bit of a belly, but I did not think he was going to be 16 pounds. So I cut back on his food, especially his dry food, since that's more caloric than his wet food. So he's just adjusting to the amount of food that I'm giving him now. And so he's just been super hungry in the middle of the night. And I feel so bad because being hungry is not fun. That's like the worst feeling. And he just would not stop bugging me in the middle of the night last night. Kept waking me up pulling my hair, chewing my hair, pawing my face. I could shut my door, but then he'll just 
scratch at it all night and meow and that will just keep me up anyways. Sorry, it's like so loud on my side of the apartment. There's so many trucks and stuff and you can always hear it in the background of my videos and it's so loud. But my facial was so relaxing. I feel like my skin is super glowy right now. She used this thing called, I'm pretty sure it was called a nano pen. I could be wrong, but it like presses the product into your skin rather than just like using your hands. It like really penetrates it into the skin. And afterwards my skin was like so glowy. I looked, it looked just so healthy. And I actually really liked the type of facial that they do because it's not like so complicated. Like it's very convenient, especially if you work in the city or if you're in Seaport, you work there whatever the deal is they also have a bunch of locations too not just seaport in boston it's just super convenient you don't have to like undress get in a robe do all this stuff i mean obviously that's nice if you want to like if you want to have more of a luxury facial but this is just very easy it's very quick convenient cheetos feeder just went off as we speak it's so funny because whenever his feeder would go off he wouldn't like run to it and start eating it right away and now that he's eating less food now he like bolts to the feeder and just eats all of it because he's so hungry like it makes me feel so bad but he's he's too fat 16 pounds is absurd but anyways so the facial was very nice very relaxing i had katie and she was so sweet i had like the best conversation with her she made me feel so comfortable and relaxed so if you're in the area you're in seaport area and you want to get a quick little convenient facial definitely stop in and ask for katie she was so sweet what else did she use she used red light therapy um she used another tool as well but i forget the name of it but it was very relaxing like i said it was a very cool experience so i'm very glad and grateful that they invited me in there they also sent me home with a bag of stuff <laughs> They were doing like a collaboration with Hapsi, which is like pillows, um, sheets, and everything. Like they just opened a location on Newberry Street. I think they just opened. They gave me some snacks, which are really cool. Oh my gosh, there's skincare in here. Some vitamin C, some hydrating cream. That's so cute. Yeah, so that's the brand of like the bedding, mattresses, pillows. They're called Hapsi. We have some iced tea, mushroom jerky. Oh my God, that sounds so interesting. A nice granola bar. Damn, they're really stocking me up with the snacks. <laughs> Carrot chew. Oh my gosh, a candle. Lemon orange blossom. A little ginger shot. Have to stick that in the fridge. Some lip balm, can never have enough of that. And then this is the pillow i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna have to try that out that is so sweet but yeah so if you're in seaport in the boston area make sure you stop in there ask for katie she was seriously one of the nicest people i've ever met in my life and then the girl who i was emailing with who set it up for me peyton she was so sweet too but she she only flew in for like a few days um she's in new york right now and she was so nice it's so fun to meet people in person when you're like emailing with them it's fun to Put a face to a name and not just always being behind a screen in your email i just got dressed because i'm gonna go to my mom's and go for a walk i don't know if she's gonna go with me but i just like doing the rope by her house i was gonna do 12 3 30 on the treadmill at the gym here but something about being on the treadmill like it's so boring and usually i watch a YouTube video or something, but I'd rather just be outside, get fresh air. It's such a nice day out. The sun is shining, so I'm like, I might as well just go over to my mom's and get some fresh air, some sunlight. It just feels so nice. It feels so much better than just being on the treadmill. So I just threw on a little crew neck, some shorts, my Reebok sneakers. I'm gonna bring headphones just in case my mom doesn't end up coming with me. I also switched my bag for a little bit just for like everyday use. It's a lot bigger and I can fit my camera in here. I actually forgot I had this and I really like it. So I'm gonna go for a nice little walk, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. <laughs> home now i'm all showered 
put on some comfy clothes for a nice little work from home day. I totally forgot I had this cardigan. It was hanging up in my bathroom under my robe. I washed my robe the other day and I totally forgot I had this. It's so cozy. I got it at Target like a couple years ago. It's so comfy and soft. And then I just have on plain white tee and then my favorite little lounge pants from Gilly Hicks. But I'm gonna make myself a little pumpkin chai. You guys already know the deal by this point if you watch my vlogs. But I have some almond milk. I need to get some more of this. Because this is my last bottle. And I just have the decaf Tezo chai latte. This is the best pumpkin creamer, I swear. It's so yummy. I also like to put some in a cup and froth it up to make a little cold foam moment. So that's what we're doing. A little bit of cinnamon on top as well. Trying to be better at not going to Starbucks every single day. So this is definitely curing my pumpkin chai craving. Like how good does this look? This is like a nine out of 10, by the way. That pumpkin creamer from Chobani, it's so freaking good. I feel like I could drink that stuff by itself, but I just wanted to make myself a little chai before I do some work on my computer. This is my motivation right now to get some stuff done. I uploaded my fall night routine this morning, so if you haven't watched that yet, make sure you go and watch that. I'm like obsessed with doing fall themed videos on my channel right now. If you couldn't tell, I have my fall morning routine, fall night routine, fall days in my life, like this weather. This season is where I feel like I come alive and my inner self truly shines. I love the fall time and it's so weird because when I was younger, I hated the fall. I associated it with school and I just, it made me anxious when it was fall time and now that I'm not in school anymore, it's one of my favorite, actually no, it is my favorite season. It's just funny like when you get older and how things change and your preferences change and you're just so different because I used to hate the fall like it was I hated it so much and now it's my favorite season I got a few packages in the mail this one I'm so excited about I've never tried this scent before by the fireplace so I'm gonna smell this right now I'm so excited oh my gosh look how tiny it's so cute that smells so good actually you know what I think my mom got this candle last year it's literally like the perfect fall winter smell. It smells so good. How cute and <laughs> mini are these? I'm obsessed. They're so cute. This one I'm also really excited for. I got a new pan from our place. They sent me over a brand new pan. This color is so pretty. I think it's called Spice if I'm not mistaken, and this is the big boy. You guys know I'm always cooking with this pan. It's so good, it doesn't stick, like nothing sticks to it. it. Comes with a fresh new spoon. How exciting, I can't wait to cook with this. I have the medium size, I think, right now. I'm excited to have another one because I only have one right now. I used to have another, but I gave it to my mom, and this is my favorite pan to cook with, so now when the other one's dirty, I can use this one and it's bigger. So thank you to our place. I also have a discount code with them. If you wanna try out their stuff, I'll put it on the screen and have it linked below because their pans are insane. I tell you, I've never cooked with a better pan. So I love this color too, it's so cute. Hi vlog, it's seven o'clock now. It actually turned into a really busy work day. So I didn't end up vlogging that much after I showed you my little haul but i just put on a face mask because i was picking at my face which i shouldn't have done but it's so hard not to when you have a magnifying mirror and you just can see literally everything on your skin so i threw on this clay mask from kiehl's the deep pore cleansing mask i love this i feel like it just sucks out all the gunk in my skin so we're having a little face mask moment also that rattling so annoying, I know you can hear it on the vlog. It's, there's something wrong with my vent. I think it's just loose. It's always making noise when I'm in the bathroom. It's so annoying. But I think I'm gonna make some tea 
see right now. Just threw on my Skims. Um, I don't even know what this is called. It's like that Teddy button-up fleece thing. I don't really know what it's called. I forget. I tried this tea for the first time the other day. The pumpkin spice from Trader Joe's. This is so good. I don't know if this has caffeine in it, but it's whatever. Just the smell of this alone is so good. So we're just gonna let this steep for a bit so it's nice and flavorful. I also love the container that it comes in. I'm definitely saving this to put random stuff in. I don't know, but I just think the container itself is very cute. I was just browsing on YouTube and I saw that they released She's the Man free with ads and I love this movie. I haven't seen it in so long. So I just got all cozy in bed. I think I'm just gonna watch this for the rest of the night and have an early night. I was so tired this morning and I feel like I didn't get that much good of sleep because Cheeto kept bugging me. So we're gonna have an early night tonight. I'm just gonna watch this movie. So I will see you guys in the morning. Friday. I just did some Pilates on the form app, took a shower, and now I'm doing my skincare. I woke up with a little friend on my face this morning and it's so painful. I'm gonna have to put a little pimple patch on it because it hurts really bad. It's Friday the 13th and let me know if you guys are superstitious because I definitely am and I always just think something bad is gonna happen on October 13th. But I woke up and I realized that the Aerostore movie comes out today. So I was like, you know what? I am going to have myself a little solo date day because I got a lot of work done yesterday. So I don't have that much to do today, which is really nice. So I got a ticket to go see the movie and I'm so excited. It's literally at two o'clock in the middle of the day. There was nobody, like nobody had picked seats yet. I was like one of the first people to buy tickets and I'm really excited because I never got to go to the Eras tour unfortunately I drove all the way there and tried to get tickets last minute like so many other people were doing and I was not lucky enough to get them so I didn't end up going to the Eras tour so I feel like watching the movie would be very fun I'm really trying to do like more things by myself and do more solo dates and just be independent because sometimes I struggle with social anxiety and when I don't do stuff like that for a while I notice when I go in public situations or social situations I just feel very anxious so I always try to do like exposure therapy I guess and do silly little things like that I mean it's not really silly because it's helping me if you struggle with social anxiety though I highly suggest even as hard as it may be really try to push yourself to put yourself in situations like that because it seriously helps so much and I feel so confident afterwards when I do stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited to go see that movie today. It's so cold out. Oh my gosh, it's only 53 degrees and I'm only wearing a crew neck. I should have worn a jacket. So cold. I'm putting the heat on but I just got in the car. Obviously, I'm Gonna go to Starbucks, get myself a Starbucks. I know I'm trying so hard not to go there as much. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Every once in a while, I like to treat myself and I was going like, I went like three days in a row, not too long ago because my friend gave me a gift card so I just wanted to use the gift card. So I went there like three or four days in a row. It's Friday and I just wanna treat myself. So we're gonna do that, it's the little things. And then I also placed an order on Nordstrom because I had a gift card to there. I got a new Longchamp bag. I recently switched my By Far Amber bag, which you guys would have seen in a few vlogs ago. 
Um, I switched it over to my long champ bag because just when I'm doing errands and stuff, it's nice to have a bigger bag to put like my camera and stuff in it because the by far amber bag, it's like oddly shaped and it doesn't hold my camera. So I just switched it over to this bag, but I wanted to get the one that has, it's like black, but it's the brown um, handles. So it's the same bag as this one pretty much, but I wanted the one with the brown handles just for some contrast and I'm like, I have a gift card, might as well spend it. So I placed an online order. So I'm gonna pick that up at some point whenever that's ready. I don't know if I should sell that on like Poshmark or something, but I recently rediscovered it in my closet. I totally forgot I had it because I'm always trying to fit like so many things in my bag and I just don't have room sometimes. And the By Far Amber bag is like a nice everyday bag. It's cute for like going out and stuff. But when I'm just running around doing errands, that is like a perfect bag. And they're on the cheaper side, which is really nice. Like they're very good quality in my opinion. I think it was like $175. I'm pretty sure for the big tote, which is honestly not bad compared to most high-end bags. That is not that expensive and I honestly love them. Like they're such a good quality bag. They're durable, they hold a lot of stuff. So if you're in the market for a nice tote bag for school, work, I feel like Long Champ is such a good option. So let's go get a pumpkin chai. This is your sign to treat yourself as well if you are craving a Starbucks or wherever your favorite coffee shop is. Just treat yourself. You deserve it. It's Friday. Well, it's Friday for me. I don't know when you're watching this. I always just feel like treating myself on a Friday. Good morning. Could I just do a tall pumpkin cream chai, please? Uh, that'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. I just realized I have a free drink, so I'm just gonna use that. It's so sad though when you use your free drink because then you have to like start all over <laughs> with your points and it takes so long to get to 250 I think it is that you need. I currently have 275. All right, I'll Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, the cold foam is like spilling out of the top right now. vlog happy saturday i feel like this vlog is so many days long usually i do like two to three days and now i think this is going on my fourth day of vlogging but good morning it's 10 o'clock in the morning super cold it's chilly this morning it's like 53 degrees i showered my hair is all wet so i'm like extra cold right now if you went to the heiress tour i'm so jealous i just love Taylor Swift and her story is so inspiring. I don't know, she's just like one of those people that you just can't not like her, you know what I mean? Like she is, I feel like anybody who says that they don't like her is lying to themselves. I feel like she has a song for everyone, even if you don't like her mainstream music. I've, she just has so many genres of music, it's crazy. The movie was just so inspiring. They actually gave me some little posters, which are super cute. Um, and then they also had a table with like a bunch of friendship bracelets you could make. Also so cute. Posted out on my story that I went and a few people were asking me if the theater was crazy and like there was a lot of people there and like singing and dancing because I was on TikTok and I saw so many TikToks of people at the movie and it's like a literal concert. Like people are getting up out of their seats, dancing, singing, which is so fun. 
but I went at two o'clock. It was like one of the first times that it was playing at my theater and there was like nobody there. There was, I wanna say five other people in the whole entire um, auditorium. So I don't know, I'm someone who wouldn't wanna get up and dance around just because I know that not everyone who's sitting there would want to do that and like some people just want to sit down and enjoy the movie but if you want to I feel like if everyone is on board for that then go ahead because that is honestly so fun and if especially if you didn't get to go to the Eras tour that is super fun to just dance with a bunch of random people you don't know that the movie was so good if you have a chance to see it definitely see it I want to go again with my mom because it was amazing so after the movie I went over to Nordstrom picked up my new long champ bag which I'm gonna show you guys a little what's in my bag right now but I just got the same exact one I already had but this one is the larger one so it's the same thing just has the brown handles and brown strap and it's just so convenient like I was saying yesterday it holds so much so we're gonna do a little what's in my bag right now I love to see what people have in their bags. They're so therapeutic to watch. I've been seeing a lot of people do it on TikTok and I just love watching them. So first I have this little claw clip attached to the handle because you never know when you could use one. This one is from J. Crew. I just got it actually in my last vlog or a couple vlogs ago. I just love the tortoise print. I think it's very cute. In this little pocket right here I have my lip stuff, a little bit of perfume. I have the road espresso peptide lip tint. I love this stuff so much. I was talking about if you are thinking about getting them, you definitely should. I love all of her peptide treatments. They're so good. I have another one too. This one is vanilla. And then I have this lip liner, which is from Jones Road Beauty in the shade Renee. It's just like a neutral pinkish brown color. And then I ended up sticking the replica perfume by the fireplace in here as well it's this is like such a good scent for fall and winter I spritzed some on myself already because it smells so good I have some sunglasses these ones are just the circle Ray-Bans ones which I don't normally wear too often because I actually sat on them one time and bent the frame so I have to go get them fixed but my eyes are so sensitive so I just carry them in my bag when I need sunglasses on me some lotion my hands get so dry especially as we're getting into the colder months I have some bubble gum a pen if you don't keep a pen in your bag you need to because you never know when you can use a pen I've had so many times where I've needed one and I just never had one so I always make sure to carry a pen in my bag this is super funny but I have pepper spray and I have this knife in my bag that I carry because as a girl, when you're alone and walking around whatever it is, like people are crazy these days and I just hear so many scary stories. So I have that pepper spray and a literal husky knife in my bag because you just never know. Me showing that just reminded me of this scene with Jake Gyllenhaal. I forget what movie it is, but I've been seeing it all over TikTok and he's just like showing all of his weapons in the locker room or something. I'm gonna show you so I don't sound crazy. It reminds me of this. <laughs> That's what I feel like showing you guys. My pepper spray and my literal knife. Oh my God. Anyways, I have my headphones in here, just my string ones, just in case I wanna listen to some music or need to do work on my phone, whatever. I have this little emergency pouch, I like to call it. I have this little pouch thing from Lululemon. In that I have some tampons, some band-aids, just in case. It's always nice to have like a little emergency kit like this in your bag. I have the Touchland hand sanitizer. I love this stuff, it smells so good. I have some Motrin. <laughs> some eye drops, oh my goodness. My eyes are so sensitive, they get so irritated so easily and I'm so happy I had these in my bag from yesterday because after I got out of the Taylor Swift movie, my eyes were burning because just staring at the screen for three hours in the pitch black, my eyes were like on fire and I had these eye drops and they instantly just make my eyes so much better. These ones are 
BioTrue Hydration Boost for irritated dry eyes. They actually sent me a PR package with a bunch of eye drops and stuff, which was so cool because I wear contacts every day and they have contact solution, eye drops, a bunch of stuff like that. So they stocked me up on all the eye drop goodies. <laughs> Lastly, in that little pouch, I just have some disinfecting wipes. And that's literally it. I don't have too much in my bag. Just, you know, the everyday essentials. So I will link this bag because it's such a good tote bag to have, I feel like, in your life. I am actually gonna go run to Target because it was my friend's birthday yesterday, so I need to get her a birthday card. We're celebrating tonight with my mom, her mom. I've known her since like second grade and we're all just super close. So we're going to dinner later. So I wanna run and get her a cute little birthday card, but I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I feel like it's just getting super long at this point. It's just going into so many days. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more vlogs. I can't believe it's already middle of October and like it's gonna be November and then Vlogmas. I'm like, do I do Vlogmas this year? I'm like debating on whether or not I should do it. I did it last year for the first time. Oh my gosh, it took so much out of me, but I just, I don't know, I really like having those videos for the memories and doing an advent calendar with you every day is really fun. So, I don't know, I'm trying to think about if I should do Vlogmas or not. Let me know what you guys think, but I love you guys. I will see you in my next vlog.